Hello guys, how are you doing? In this video, I'll be talking about the medical examination for Express Entry of Canada. I'll be telling its details, the exact requirement, the step-by-step -step process, cost and the time involved, its validity and a few tips as well. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello guys, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got many videos and many more are coming soon for you. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. Guys, before I start this video, I would like to take one minute to thank all of you for the support that you have given me. A few days, a couple of days ago, actually, just I uploaded this short video that I was not well, I had an eye infection and I was not able to uh, create uh, videos because I had to avoid the laptop and the mobile phones. I just uploaded this video and I got so many messages, blessings, prayers from people. This was totally unexpected. I really did not expect this kind of love and support from all of you guys. It's, it actually melted my heart. Thank you so much. Again, here also I uploaded in my community uh, page here. I got so many messages. Get well soon, brother. We can wait for the video. Please take care of your health. Uh, it is actually heartwarming. So thank you so much for this support. And please keep supporting me. Yes, definitely. Now let's start this video. Okay, let me begin with the overview first. Is medical test mandatory? Yes, if you're applying for Canadian permanent residency, then you must have an immigration medical test. Government of Canada has made it mandatory so as to protect the health and safety of Canadians and prevent the burden on Canada's health and social service system. So medical facilities in Canada are free of cost and the immigration process was started to, you know, begin the economic welfare of Canada. So in from that perspective, if you look, if they take in somebody who is who has some serious disease, a lot of money would be would go into his or her treatment. So they want to avoid that, which is also fair enough, right? Okay, who all should have a medical test? So the primary applicant is mandatory. If you're applying for PR, you must go through an immigration medical examination. Also, the family members should have it even if they are not coming with you. So please take a special note of that. Yes, all your accompanying and non-accompanying dependents must have a medical examination. So some people sometimes ask that I will be going and my spouse and children would be joining me later on. Or they don't even disclose that uh, their dependents would be joining them. So. Canadian government is smart enough that they know that your dependents will join you some or the other day. So they want to make sure that everybody is, you know, uh, medically fit. Okay. So which all tests are done? I try to divide these uh, tests into few age groups. If your kid is between zero to four years of age, he will have to go through only go through a physical examination. If, uh, the age of your kid is between five to ten years of age, uh, five to ten years. In that case, physical examination and urinalysis. For the age group of eleven to fourteen years, physical examination, urinalysis, and chest X-ray for tuberculosis. For everyone who is above fifteen years of age, physical examination, urinalysis, chest X-ray for tuberculosis, eye checkup, blood pressure checkup, blood test for syphilis and HIV. Sorry, that was syphilis, right? I am very bad with the medical terms and the knowledge of uh, medical diseases. So I'm pretty sure that many people would have questions about some other medical diseases. Is uh, this would be medical fit or not? I really don't have uh, answers to all of those questions. So uh, it may be you can ask me, maybe I can Google it, go to some forums and check out and reply it to you. Okay, so who can do medical tests? Very interesting question. You must see a doctor on the list of 
panel physicians. Your own doctor cannot do the medical examination. I'll provide a link in the description box below uh, for the panel physicians and I'll also tell you how to find uh, the right physician for you. Once the, your exam is done, the physician will send the results to IRCC. The panel physician does not make the final decision about your medical examination. IRCC makes that decision. So whatever disease or you know, medical statement or medical report you have, they just give the report to the IRCC and they take a decision if you are medically fit, if you should be allowed to enter Canada or not. If there's a problem with your medical examination, they will contact you in writing. Okay guys, so if you want to find a panel physician in your country or in your city, just come to that to this link over here. I'll provide it in this in the description box below. Select the, your country. I'll select India over here for example. And it will give you a list of all the physicians, the authorized physicians in India. In the city of Ahmedabad, uh, for example, the Bangalore, Chandigarh, Chennai, and all the major cities they have their physicians. So you need not worry about that. In Ludhiana, they have it in Mumbai. So I belong to New Delhi. I went to this center over here, uh, Max Multi Specialty Center, and I was. It was a pretty good experience. The staff was very helpful. So anybody who belongs to New Delhi, I would recommend uh, going up here. Okay. So moving ahead. Now the cost and time. So for one person, approximately rupees 6600, which is equivalent to uh, 125 Canadian dollars is charged. Now, this was an amount which was charged from me uh, in the last year in New Delhi. So the cost might differ from one country to the other and also from one medical center to other, but it won't differ very much. So you, don't, you need not worry about that. It will be a very minor difference. Also, uh, it might take two to three hours in the complete process. So please make sure that you reach there on time and you have enough time in your hand. Okay, the validity. Your medical exam results are valid for 12 months. If you do not come to Canada as a permanent resident within that time, you may need to have another exam done. So try to avoid that. Okay, now the step-by-step -step process. First of all, you should search all of those uh, panel physicians and call and book the appointment. After that, reach there on time and submit the fee with all those documents. The list of documents I'll be telling you after this. And you should then you should go for the medical test, all the medical tests, uh, whether it's the chest x-ray, whether it's the blood test or urinalysis or the physical examination. After that, you'll receive an acknowledgement letter. So please take, take it uh, and save it, keep it with you uh, very safely because it has a number over there, reference number. You need to provide that reference number in your uh, IRCC application. Okay, your medical report would be sent directly to IRCC through the e-medical system. Medical reports and x-rays will not be returned to you. So please uh, don't think that, you know, you'll get the x-ray uh, report don't even ask for that okay what should you bring with you so you should have the foremost thing is your passport you should carry your passport with you if you wear eyeglasses or contact lenses then you should take it uh, with you also any medical reports or test results that you have regarding your previous or existing medical conditions you should carry that with you along, along with you as well uh, also, the ITA issued by IRCC. Okay, the medical report form received from CIC. If you do not undergo an upfront medical examination. So, an upfront medical examination is something like uh, before submitting the application if you are going for the examination. So, in that case, uh, this form I think would not be required. So, uh, when you book an appointment, please take a note of uh, which all things should be bought and also what all things you should eat or you know breakfast whatever the instructions are please take a special note of that and do especially that okay so now the tips 
So avoid smoking and drinking habits a few days before medical examination. Mostly this won't affect your uh, results, but why to take risk, right? Also appear for your medical test once you have arranged all the documents, probably just a couple of days before the submission of documents. Now I'll tell you something that I've noticed uh, in most of the applications is that the one-time visa that we get, the expiry date of one-time visa is usually one year from the date of medical examination. So if you actually go for the medical examination straight away, you kind of lose one or one and a half months towards the last of your uh, visit. I mean, it doesn't matter too much, but uh, it's still a tip that you can take care of it, right? So uh, also apart from this, it should be, uh, please make sure the another tip which I just mentioned a few minutes ago, that you should, uh, whatever documents and the, the instructions have been told uh, to you by the uh, by the physicians or you know their call centers please take a special note of that and do uh, whatever has been uh, told to you accordingly so thank you guys uh, for watching this video I hope that the information provided in this video was helpful to you if you like this video please uh, click the like button if you actually feel that you know this uh, video can help somebody else please share this video with your friends colleagues and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please subscribe